Hi, and welcome to this video on how to make a whiteboard animation on iOS. This will be a short tutorial that will help you get started. So unfortunately, there is a side note that this app is paid and will cost you under $2, with restore purchases costing under $2 as well. It's personally up to you whether or not you want to pay it or not, but trust me, it's worth the small investment as this app offers so much, and with your creative minds, you can fascinate your audiences. So the app you need to download is called VideoScribe. So video scribe anywhere. Uh, as you see, uh, it costs like one dollar one point six nine, so one dollar and sixty nine cents. Uh, I've already purchased it. That's why it comes up with open. But it would, but when you haven't purchased it, it would co it would cost one dollar and sixty nine cents. So this app is available on the desktop version, and there's an Android version, and there's an iOS version. Today I'll be showing you on the iOS version. So we're going to download this. So I've already downloaded it, so I'll just open it up. So this is mini intro. So you're going to push the plus bar. As you see, uh, on the top part of the video scribe, there's these five bars, which, tell, which have different features, obviously. So the first thing is to save. This is the save bu uh, button. The second thing is the image, which enables you to add images to your video scribe. So it's got everything you want. And there's also on the bottom left of this uh, part of the image section, there's a camera roll. So if you tap on that, you can add images from your camera roll or from Google or wherever you get your images from. So this is a cool feature here where you can add images in animated or in like unanimated. So you can add anything you want. I'm just gonna add the calendar, for example. So there's a range of selections but for calendars only three. Say I write, uh, let's say, gold. It comes up with things associated with gold, like a crown. So if we tap on that, we'll bring you a crown. So when you play this button, it will draw the crown for you. And on the bottom right of this, it says zoom at the end. It's personally up to you whether or not you wanna uh, use it or not. Uh, I recommend not to use it, but it's personally up to you. See, if you don't use it, it will just stay like that. And there's also, if you tap on the image, uh, there's this counter, there's this, this is like a timer down here, which tells you how long this image will be ta will taken to draw. So if you put it for like three sec uh, 2.5 seconds, it will draw the image faster, at a faster rate, as seen here. Yeah. So what I like to do is I like to keep it at a really fast, um, like a low amount. So say I like to keep it from between two to five seconds. I don't put it to like 10 plus because that just makes your audience bored. So if you put it for 20.5 seconds, it will just take very long to draw and can get very boring to watch. So yeah, I'll just skip through that. Okay, so that's the image bar. And now the next section is the text um, part where you can write whatever you like. So you can say, Welcome to this video. And it'll come out with text, right? Let's move that for you. And so the text, you can enlarge it, whatever you like. So yeah. And looking at the bottom left, there's this, there's these two squares here. When you tap on them, it'll go to either whatever selected, right? Your text or your image. So it's either up to you. Um, uh, at the moment, my text is uh, coming after my image. You can rearrange this to what you like. So personally, I like to put my text before my image, but it's personally up to you. I'm not judging. So if you do that, uh, when you start your video scribe, it will uh, draw your text first, and then it will draw your image like that. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, it's not drawing because I put mine at zero seconds. If I, I have to put a specific specific time for you okay so now when you draw it welcome to this video and then underneath it will draw the crown as you see the text is shown in this part of the when the crown is drawn the text is shown it's personally up to you but i like to spread it out if you're if this because this could this is my intro right i don't like to put my intro with my uh next part so what I like to do is to spread it out so when it draws the first part, it won't be seen when you're drawing the second part. 
See? It will draw it on a new page. The cool thing about Video Scribe, it's got like unlimited pages. So like you can zoom out, you can see how much pages it's got. It's a really creative app. So the next section is the music section. The, this is like to browse music you want to add to your video. And there's a broad selection here. And there's also this globe here, like with a web URL. So that's cool here. So you can add image, you can add like music. So I'll, for example, this one. You can add that to your video scribe. And lastly, there's a voiceover. So when you record your voiceover, uh, you can record voiceover with your video scribe. So you can explain your wonderful creations to your audience, which I highly recommend. Okay, so now you can play everything together and it'll and that'll be your video scribe. So like that. So if you go on your image, see there's a broad selection of whatever you like. You can add a smiley face, you can add anything. Okay, so moving on. So this last bar on the top right of your screen, you can see this bar here. If you tap on that, it's gonna say create a video. So reading this, log in to create videos. Videos are published in HD to the website show.co, uh, allowing faster render on that website. You can download, share, and em uh, embed your video and set privacy options. So it's going to ask you to sign up, I think. And then if you make your account, you can log in. So when you log in, that's my details. See, it's going to ask you, use one credit to create your video. You have two credits available. Your video will start rendering instantly on this website. You'll create the share link and then embed code straight away. So this will allow you to upload it to the website, I'm guessing. So see at the bottom part of this underneath buy credits, it says send to camera roll. You want to tap on that. See, this is what I was talking about in the start of the video. This part here is paid, which enables you to send it to your camera roll, which can be uploaded to via YouTube, whatever, whatever. So what I like, what I recommend is to restore the purchases for $1.69 for un that's unlimited. So when you tap on that, it's going to restore your purchases like that. So now it will create your video now and can be uploaded to wherever you like. So yeah. So yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed this video on how to make a whiteboard animation on iOS. Subscribe for more content and bye.